All right, guys, today what we're gonna do is give you a couple tips on winching, how to do a double line pull, and how to get the most power out of your winch. The other night on Live Talk Tuesday and even Live Talk Thursday, when we covered winching, a lot of you had questions. You messaged me and said, hey, listen, I didn't understand what you were talking about on the show, more of a hands-on kind of guy, so here we go. We are gonna show you hands-on how this works. First of all, what I've already done is I pulled the line out uh, for our Axon 45RC. Now the Axon 45 RC is a great winch, but it is a short drum winch, meaning this drum is very, very short and the frame on it is very short. And what you can see right here, what I've already done is I pulled it out to where I have five or six wraps on the drum. Now what this means is this is where we're gonna get our maximum power out of the winch. Now with this winch only having 27 foot of synthetic rope, you're not gonna get a whole lot out of it. So what we're gonna do for this demonstration is we're gonna use a worn synthetic 50 foot extension. We're gonna go up to that tree, we're gonna double line pull and bring it back and show you exactly what we're talking about when we say double line pull. This is a, a worn synthetic 50 foot extension. I would recommend you carry one of these no matter how long your winch line is because you just never know when you're gonna need it. Sometimes you get in a position or a situation where you need more rope or, or more line and this is exactly where it's gonna come in handy. Take our extension here, 50 foot extension, and we'll just clip it on right like that. I would say that you would definitely be in your best interest to take a accessory kit with you and have the 50 foot extension and all this stuff. I would say if you have a winch, you definitely need to take this stuff with you. You never know when you're going to use it. And some people might say, well, I'm never going to use that. Believe me, I use it a lot. So I'm glad there's been several times where it's come in very handy. So what we'll do is we'll take our tree trunk protector and we'll wrap it around the tree here. And uh, a key to this here is you want to make sure you do it like this. You don't want to loop it through and choke the tree out because then you'll kill that tree. That's the whole point of a tree trunk protector. Uh, and another thing you never ever ever want to do is take your winch line, like say if this had a hook on, and bring it around and hook it to itself so it's on a tree like that. That's not good on your line, uh, your wire rope, synthetic rope, whatever you have, and it's definitely gonna kill that tree. So you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna hook your line back to itself. What we have here is a snatch block, and this is a worn epic snatch block. And all you'll do is you'll take your synthetic rope or your wire rope, and you'll put it in there like that. So it's like that, and when you pull, it's gonna it's going to pull inside that snatch block like that and it's going to be a pulley. So then what you'll do is you'll put it on your shackle here and you'll take this and put it in there, fasten it in. And what you'll do is take this into where it touches, where it's tight, and then back it off a half turn. Another thing you want to remember is you want to check the tree before you hook up to it because you don't want to hook up to a dead tree. You know, I've already seen guys hook up to a dead tree and they start winching and it falls over. Well, you got to be careful with that too because, you know, that could end up hurting somebody big time. So make sure you're hooking up to the base of a really good tree that is not going to fall over. So now we've got our 50 foot extension. We've got our tree trunk protector on there. This is a worn bumper on the front of our Maverick Trail, and we got two shackle points on the front of this. So what we'll do is we'll put this on here, and you just put that in there like that. Tighten it up, back it off a half turn, and there you go. All right, guys, just to recap, we're doing a double line pull here, and we pulled our line out off of our winch about five to six wraps. This gives us maximum pulling power on our winch. And by going up to the snatch block and coming back to the machine, that's a double line pull. And we've now doubled our winches pulling power. So there's a lot of stuff to take into consideration when you're doing this. One of those is to make sure that you put a line dampener on here. 
you want to make sure that whenever you're winching you have a line dampener even though this is not wire rope and it doesn't retain the energy that wire rope does if this should happen to break there's still a hook on the end of that you don't want it flying and hurting somebody so always use a line dampener and another thing is you want to make sure you keep everybody out of the winching zone sometimes we'll pull up and there'll be somebody there winching and there's 10 guys all up in the winching zone one guy standing across it waving him you know go ahead go ahead you know i mean that is the worst thing in the world you can do stay out of the winching zone make sure everybody stays safe and i hope these tips help you out and if you got any comments ideas suggestions feel free to put them below and uh hope we helped you out and feel free to tell us how you like to do a double line pool